So as we prepare for the upcoming NovDEC core mathematics paper, we are going to solve some questions on relations, mapping, and functions. Now we have question 1, which happens to be NovDEC 2008, question 12a. The function f is defined as fx maps to 3x squared minus 5x, i evaluates f of negative 3, i, i find the values of x for which f of x is equal to negative 4 over 3. Let's try this question together. So we have the function f of x equals 3x squared minus 5x. We are going to evaluate f of negative 3. So f of negative 3 basically means that we are going to substitute negative 3 in place of x in this function. So we have 3 times negative 3 square minus 5 times negative 3. Now let's simplify. Negative 3 square is 9. So we have 3 times 9 minus 5 times negative 3. 3 times 9 is 27. Negative 5 times negative 3 is 15. So 27 plus 15 is 42. Therefore, f of negative 3 is equal to 42. Now let's solve for ii. That is, we are going to find the values of x for which f of x is equal to negative 4 over 3. So we are going to equate the function f of x, which is 3x squared minus 5x, to negative 4 over 3. So f of x is equal to negative 4 over 3. We have f of x to be 3x squared minus 5x. So that is equal to negative 4 over 3. Now to do away with the fraction, we are going to multiply each of the terms by 3. So we have 3 times 3x squared minus 5x times 3 equals negative 4 over 3 times 3. So this becomes 9x squared minus 15x equals negative 4. So we transpose negative 4 to the left hand side and that becomes 4. Since we have a quadratic equation, we are going to expand this equation and then we find the possible values of x. Now we are going to multiply the coefficient of the x squared term by the coefficient of the constant. 9 times 4 is 36. Now let's look for the factors of 36 that multiply to 36 and then they add up to negative 15. So we have negative 1 times negative 36, negative 2 times negative 18, negative 3 times negative 12. Now at this point, we can get what we are looking for because negative 3 minus 12 is negative 15. So we say that we have 9x squared minus 3x minus 12x plus 4 equals 0. Now let's perform factorization. So we factor out 3x and then we have 3x minus 1. We factor out 4 or negative 4 and then we have 3x minus 1 equals 0. So this becomes 3x minus 4 and then 3x minus 1 equals 0. So for 3x minus 4 equals 0, we have 3x equals 4. We divide through by 3 and then we have x to be equal to 4 over 3. And then also we have 3x minus 1 equals 0. 3x equals 1. We divide through by 3 and then we have x equals 1 over 3. Therefore, x is equal to 4 over 3 or x is equal to 1 over 3. So for question 2, question 2 is NovDEC 2010 
question 12b the functions f and g are defined as fx maps to 2 minus x square and jx maps to 1 over x minus 1 evaluate i g of negative 1 over 4 and then i i f of 2 divided by g of 3 we are going to solve this question together so we are given the functions f of x equals 2 minus x square and then g of x equals 1 over x minus 1 I, we are going to evaluate g of negative 1 over 4 so g of negative 1 over 4 means that we are going to substitute negative 1 over 4 in place of x in g of x so that is equal to 1 over negative 1 over 4 minus 1 now 1 is the same as 1 over 1 now let's simplify so this is equal to 1 over now we are going to find the LCM between 4 and 1, which is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 minus 4 divided by 1 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. So this becomes 1 over negative 5 over 4. We can simplify this as 1 times negative 4 over 5 and then we have our final answer to be negative 4 over 5 therefore g of negative 1 over 4 is equal to negative 4 over 5 now let's solve for ii that is f of 2 divided by g of 3 now f of 2 is equal to from this function 2 minus 2 square that is 2 minus 4 and that is equal to negative 2 now for g of 3 that is also equal to 1 over 3 minus 1 and then we have 1 over 2 therefore f of 2 divided by g of 3 is equal to negative 2 over 1 over 2 this becomes negative 2 times 2 over 1 which is equal to negative 4 therefore f of 2 divided by g of 3 is equal to negative 4